things going. So today I'm going to be doing a summer essentials video and it's quite ironic today because um, it's pitch black outside, it's raining and we're in May. So um, here I just have my go-to products that I use for the summer. I'm going to start off with skin products. Um, in the sun, obviously here in Spain, you're going in and out of the sea, in and out of the pool. It's chlorine, it really dries out your skin. A um, few things I recommend are obviously sunscreen. Um, I always use a factor 50. Everyone should use a factor 50. Um, you get a tan anyway if you wear sun cream. I don't know why people think it stops you from tanning because it doesn't. It just protects you from the bad rays. And even if I don't burn, um, when I come home I always put an after sun on. And the one I use is the Oriflame Sun Zone 3 in 1 Rehydrating Soothing Silk. Cools and soothes the skin, long lasting hydration, prolongs tan. And it is this one, it's quite a small bottle but it smells really good. Um, I also use it um, as a moisturiser. Once you exfoliate your skin you've got to put a really thick moisturiser on because your skin will dry out if you just exfoliate and don't, you know, moisturise it before you go out in the sun. So I use quite a very thick creamy body lotion and it's a coconut one. I think it's from, ah it's from Marks and Spencer. And um, it's this one here. Um, I haven't even gone through half of it. It's really good, really thick. I use this a lot when I shave my legs and exfoliate my legs before I prep for a tan because it's really thick. Um, I don't. I wouldn't fake tan straight after. I put this because the way it's a thick cream, it takes forever for your skin to, um, you know, to soak it in. Also, I haven't got it with me, but water. You have to drink so much water, summer or winter, especially in the summer. I shouldn't really say that, but it's true though. In the summer, you're dehydrating faster, a lot faster, because of the body fluids you're losing just being in the sun. Your body trying to protect you. It's a lot of energy for your body. And you've just got to keep hydrated. I... Honestly, I struggle a lot just drinking water because it has no taste. I get really bored of it. But also, if some, if any of you didn't know, eating fruit and vegetables, that all contains a lot of fluids. Moving on to hair. Um, I, don't, I only have two products here, but um, I think they're two decent products that... Well, they're products I use for the summer. And... Um, one that I've already used for the summer, but one's just new and I'm just trying it out as I explained to you before in the previous video, the Sheer Blonde Go Blonde Lightning Spray, Staying. Um, apparently this gives more results, better results in the summer where there's more sun because this, this develops with sunlight. So if you just you spray this on when your hair is towel dry, I, w I wouldn't recommend doing it when you come out the pool or the sea or anything like that because this um, tends to dry your hair out so if you just come out the sea or the pool with chlorine it's going to really dry your hair out so I recommend you doing this when you come when you get out of the shower and you towel dry your hair and then you just spritz this on and you just run into the sun okay guys you run into the sun my next product I did a review about this in the last video as well. It's the L'Oreal Aviv um, Oleo. It's in Spanish, I'm trying to translate it. It's an oil. It's this one. Um, I use this a lot in the summer. It's already ending. I've only got this much left. It's so good. I was explaining in the last video. It's just got all those oils that your hair loses when you shower, your, when you shampoo your hair. You lose all those beneficial oils, not just the dirty ones. 
but um, also the good oils that protect your hair. So this is great for your ends. I should be putting it in now because my hair is wet and it's feeling a bit dry. I need to cut it. But um, yeah, I definitely recommend this for the summer. Moving on to makeup. I know in the summertime, you know, we're constantly by the pool, we're constantly by the beach. We're just everywhere, very social. And apart from going out at night, all done up and stuff, you don't, you don't want to not wear makeup, but you don't want to make it look like as if you're off to a nightclub or anything like that. So these are products I use in the summer in the daytime. So um, when it comes to palettes, I swear by the Revolution Makeup Revolution London, the Redemption Palette Iconic 2. This is really the dupe, the cheaper version of the Naked Palette. But I probably go for these for the day and these for the night. And um, yeah. Um, I really, if, if you don't have the money to purchase the Naked palettes because they are really expensive. If you're not getting money in every, every month, you're not working, it's not worth it, but it definitely is when it comes to this baby. So obviously, people like me, we don't get tanned, so I like to bronze my body up. I use this on my chest area, apart from face, just to blend it in so I don't have a bronze face and a white chest. And it's the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Latera um, bronzer. And it's this one here. And I've used it today for my contour, contouring. And I just love it. It's that colour. It's really pigmented. It has loads of talc in it, which is what we want. And yeah, I just really recommend you this. Also, in the daytime, I um, don't like to wear a thick foundation because apart from that, I have to apply the sun cream and then the foundation. So I use a Factor 50 sun cream, but it actually has a tint in it. And um, it leaves a tint. And it's not too harsh. Obviously, it doesn't um, clear all the imperfections we might have on our face, like big pores, etc. It just gives you the colour you want, but it protects your face at the same time. So, yeah, it, it's just a sun cream, really. It's quite... I don't know, I've only bought this once. This is still the first one, and I haven't used it much. It's quite expensive. It's a French um, sun cream. As I was talking about the sun cream, it doesn't take away all the blemishes and stuff, so what I would apply before the sun cream would be this BB cream, it's like a base before your foundation, but it clears, hides all your pores, and it has this really silky touch to it. Um, this is from Mercadona, it's like Target or Morrison's in England, Target in America. Or a lip gloss and this one I'm loving I've got it on top of my lipstick right now it's the high shine SPF 15 number 7 by boots and it's called glaze and it's just this lovely color I'm not quite sure what color it is it's like a, a dark pink Meh, I think and um, Yeah, um, it has an SPF in it, which I totally recommend. You should, even in the winter, have an SPF in everything. Um, uh, just to protect yourself. I mean, your lips are, it's a different skin to your face, and it's a very sensitive skin. So if you burn your lips, you will know about it. Your lips just shrivel up, they dry up, they feel weird, they start to bleed. It's horrible, I've had it done. and. It's quite stingy and painful, especially when you eat salt. It's the worst thing ever. So, uh, yeah, totally keep your lips hydrated, keep everything hydrated. Really, this film is, this film, this video is about hydration. You just got to keep very hydrated in the summer. Yeah, so, yeah. So I've done skin, hair, makeup.
that's what I do in the summer. And then obviously remember to wear a bikini in the summer. <laughs> or, yeah. Um, if you, I don't know. I don't know what other videos should I do. I mean, I could do another bikini haul, um, summer lookbook. Um, yeah, you guys just tell me what you want to see. And I'll do it. Depending on what it is, of course. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye can't reach see so i'm just gonna to rest well are you slow this tree This shit's about to get real.